Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install some brand new sliding closet doors. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end so you won't miss out on any details of how you can do this as well. If you want to learn how to do all kinds of handyman and DIY projects, including home renovations, then you're in the best place here on YouTube. Consider subscribing to our channel and activate the notification bell so that way you won't miss out on any videos that we'll be uploading every single week. We have all the hardware laid out over here. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make some marks at the top of the door. This is so we can install the hardware that has the roller and we're just putting it at two inches and three quarters away from the edge of the door. After we make a initial mark, we're using the square to make a straight line, and that's gonna be the start of where we're gonna be putting the hardware. And we're just gonna lay this on top of a little piece of section of drywall so we can better access this. And once we have the layout perfectly where we want it, we're gonna be drilling a couple holes just like some little starter holes. Then after that, we're gonna be putting in the screws. At the same time, we're also installing the railing at the top. This is attached by some screws. The nice thing about this metal railing is that it has several holes throughout the entire length. And you just wanna put the screws, you can put it in in every single hole if you want, or you can just put it, you know, one screw kind of like diagonally throughout the entire length which is kind of what we're doing here and we noticed that that helped to secure it really strong to the top plate now you'll notice that on the very top we did not put any drywall any sheetrock up there because there was very limited um, uh, opening to the bottom and uh, these doors we can only cut out so much before they can no longer fit so we had to just put it on the plate onto the top plate of the the framing but then this hanger over here we drilled the hole first afterwards we're going ahead and putting in the screw it only takes two screws on either end we initially do like a little starter hole with the drill so that way the screw will won't make any damage to the door or, or split it or anything like that once you make a couple little holes with your drill, then you can put in the screw that comes with the package and just screw the hardware into the top of the door. Like I said, the edge, it's two inches and three quarters away from the edge. That's where the hardware starts. You'll notice the little round plastic white material. That is so you can adjust the wheel up or down. But even at the, at the lowest position, these doors were too tall for this opening. So we're, what we're doing right now is just securing both of the plates to the top of the framing. Once those are nice and solid, then we're going to go ahead and hang this door onto the rail. And once we did that, the door, it was just way too tall. So what I'm going to show you in a little bit is how to cut the door. Now, don't worry about that because most of these doors, when they make them, they're hollow in the in-between, but at the bottom, they usually come solid up to like an inch from the bottom. So the nice thing is we're, we only have to cut out half an inch from the bottom of the door. We're using that with, uh, with our square, just marking the line straight all the way through and we're just gonna use a circular saw to cut out this half inch and that's what gonna give us enough space so the door can hang on its own and slide nice and even from one side to the other so right here we're adjusting our blade making sure that it's gonna cut all the way down and we're using at first we had a Makita drill or like a saw but the blade on that one was a little rough. So on this DeWalt, we had like another blade that is a little more for finer finish. So that's why we're using this DeWalt saw cutter. And you just wanna take your time 
be nice and careful and just get it as straight as possible. We were able to get a beautiful straight cut here by just taking our time. And this is gonna help us so we can afterwards hang it onto the rail at the top. And the only thing that will be needed after that is to put on the little plastic guides at the bottom. So I'll show you that in a little bit, how we installed that. And then I'm gonna give you a tip so you can make sure to do it right the first time. So all this sawdust, we're you know picking it up. We have a, a dust pan collector, so we're just trying to keep all this area clean. Either way, afterwards, the flooring guys are gonna clean up the floor and sand it and finish it. But there it is, perfect fit. It slides nice and even all the way through. On the second door, we're gonna do the same exact thing. We measured two and three quarters away from the edge and we drill the holes, put the screws onto this one and uh, we're gonna hang it on this right side because we noticed since the framing of this house, it ain't perfect. The right side closet entry was a little bit taller than the left side. So when we made the cut on this right side door, when we hanged it on the rail, the bottom, it had a larger gap. And we just wanted to test it out to see how it was gonna turn out. But like you see down there, it's like a, at least a half an inch gap. So we're just gonna, this door, we're gonna keep it on the left side, but on the right side, we're only gonna cut out a quarter of an inch. So that's something very important. You, before you make the cuts, just make sure that you measure. Or like in our case, you know, we had the example from the left side. We used it on the right side just to make sure. And that's how we came up with the quarter inch that we're going to need to cut out from the bottom. So we can go ahead and uh, make sure it fits nice and, you know, with a minimal gap. This is the spacer at the bottom. Now this is the tip that I'm gonna give you. Right now we're installing it with the doors like all on one side. But when we closed it, we noticed that it didn't go all the way through. So the best way to install this little plastic is to close both doors and then just put it in between because it barely made it. Like right here you notice that it, it barely like goes in between even when you open or close the door. So that's the strategy behind that. Then on this right side doors, we're starting to work on putting on those hinges at the top. Just, you know, putting in the drill, the holes, putting in the screws. We got this one ready. We're gonna go ahead and hang it up there. It's pretty straightforward. The rails, it already comes with the mechanism so the doors can slide. And like you see right here, it was like at an angle so we just cut out that quarter of an inch at the bottom and now we're gonna hang this door and you'll see here it came in perfectly so now this can go ahead and slide nice from one end to the other and we're just gonna do this on the final door measure it cut out the bottom and that's gonna wrap up both of those doors Afterwards, we're gonna be installing all of the hardware. We actually, in this house, we installed about 20 doors or more than 20 doors. So we, you know, later we have to come back in and put in all of the knobs and uh, these closet doors, it just has like a little circular insert that you just press it into the hole. And it's just meant so you can better, you know, pull and push the door and uh, it's just, you know, these don't lock or anything. It's just for access to the closets. Then at the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and put in the, the little plastic guide. And that's pretty much the process of how you can install the closet doors from start to, pin to finish. We hope you like this video. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell. So that way you won't miss out on any videos that we'll be uploading every single week. In the description below, I'm gonna be leaving some links with materials and tools that we recommend for doing this kind of work. Thanks for watching, may God bless you, and I'll see you on the next project.